It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make my lemonade candy apples. This is a fun and easy dessert to create and if you're ready to get started, let's get into the supplies. Starting off with the apples of your choice, I'm using Granny Smith. You're also going to need some yellow paper straws, apple sticks, and the other supplies that you'll need is a rolling pin, small detail brush, a scraper for the fondant, some white poppy paint or white food coloring paint. Fondant I'll be using is by Wilton's in the color yellow and green. You're going to need some rock candy for the ice effect, make it look like ice on top. And I'll leave all those links listed in the description box below. Starting off with the apples, you want to make sure you clean your apples and dry them completely. Then insert your sticks and straws. Make sure they're upright and they all fall in the same sequence. You don't want no crooked sticks, all right? Once you're done inserting your sticks, you want to set it over to the set your apples over to the side, and then the um, chocolate coating that I'll be using, which is almond bark, is a candy coating, and I'm just cutting it down in squares, and I'm apply it to my cup here, and melt in 30 second intervals until it's completely melted. Now, once you have completely melted your chocolate or almond bark you want to apply your food coloring now i'm using the chocolate chameleon and the color yellow and i'm applying a little bit at a time to i achieve the color that i desire and this is a little bit lighter so i'm gonna take my find it and match it up to make sure i'm getting close to the color that i need all right so you just add more as you go until you get or create that desired color. So I believe I got it as close as I'm going to get it, taking my fondant, matching it up, and this is good enough. We're gonna move on to the next step. You wanna get you a silicone mat or some parchment paper, and then let the chocolate cool before you dip so you don't get that elephant skin, and just dip and do a rotating turn. Make sure your apples are completely coated and drain off that extra chocolate or candy coating. Make sure you scrape the bottoms and then place your apples onto your mat or parchment paper. Your apples can sit out to dry at room temperature. They do not need to go in the refrigerator to dry. If it's hot and humid in your home or the area you're making them, then it's gonna take longer for your chocolate or candy mills to solidify. So just keep that in mind. Also, what's important to make sure that your apples are completely dry before creating any design or adding any decorations to your apples. You want to make sure your apples are nicely coated. I'm, I added some almond bark to a piping bag. I'm bringing out my rock candy and my scraper and the mold that I'm going to be using is a lemon mold. It has three different designs. I'm going to use the wedge and I'm going to be using the Wilson's fondant in yellow and green. Now creating the wedge, you want to knead your fondant so that it can be nice and smooth before applying it to the cavity of this mold. Now in the case that your fondant sticks to the cavity of the mold, you can use powdered sugar or cornstarch to get a quick, easy release. And these pieces can be done days in advance or even a week in advance. And just pull the back and voila, there's your lemon wedge. Now we're gonna prepare the rim of the apple and that will give the cup effect. Now I'm going to take some fondant. You want to lay it onto your surface and start in the center and roll outwards. As your hands go in the center, you want to work your hands going outward so that you can stretch your fondant piece. This piece will go around the top of the apple as you see here. And I'm going to use some water. Just apply a little bit of water 
lightly, don't saturate it, and then attach your fondant piece so that you can get the illusion of a cup, like a little cup. All right, so you're gonna squeeze your fondant together and then start to even it out around the top of that apple so that it can be nice, even, and neat. Presentation is key. Then you're gonna take some leftover um, almond bark or your chocolate and apply it to the top of that apple and then start to apply the rock candy. You wanna fill this until it's totally covered and then going over with a second layer to apply more rock candy so you can get the fullness of a full lemonade cup, right? All right, so attach pieces where you see fit. Any open spots, just attach, and here is your lemonade cups. All right, so now I'm gonna use the white poppy paint, and if you want to do the detail work, do this days in advance so it can dry. Don't do it the same day, because this is what you need to do to prepare. You know, these are your preparations. These need to be made ahead of time. So if you wanna add detail, you can do so as you see here, but you don't necessarily have to, but I love detail work and detail work takes time. Never do detail work the same day, especially when you're incorporating a lot of pieces because you'll fall behind and it won't come out right. All right, so keep that tip in mind. Now, these other molds that I'm going to be using are also um, lemon molds, but I decided to use one of the smaller wedges with this particular mold, and I'm using the green to create a lime wedge, all right? Just to give a different type of design to my lemonade cups. And there you have it. Voila. So now I'm just applying some chocolate to place on the side. You want to hold it so it can stick and then apply the lemon wedge. And that is it. That's how you make your lemonade candy apples. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And it's your girl Ro about to go. And I'll see you all in the next video.